What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV with my floppy hair because it's the day after and I haven't washed it yet and so I looked like a idiot. <laughs> we started off today's video with just some scrambled egg. If you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know that actually that's something that I like to do if I want to save stuff for later on in the day. If I want to save a few carbs, I'll just have egg. One, I would prefer to have that with a wrap. Two, I'd prefer to have it with bacon. Three, a shit ton of ketchup as well, right? I don't have any of those three things because I know that I'm gonna be eating more kind of later on in the day and it's just something that I like to do if I know that also meal times aren't gonna be that far apart. Just have smaller meals and yeah. I also remembered today, right? It's about one o'clock kind of in the afternoon now. And I've only just started to get dressed. I've got some joggers on, I've got a, a vest on, but I wear this everywhere, right? A few videos ago, I wanted to start getting dressed on my days off, purely because I feel like that makes me more productive. It makes me more um, awake, if you like. Like, it's about 1 p.m. now. I, I've been awake for a few hours. And I still feel tired, I still feel sleepy. Um, and I feel like that's because I haven't gotten up. I haven't gotten ready and got on with my day, if that makes sense. And so... I might make that a New Year's resolution so that I actually stick to it. Because I said it a few videos ago, I've said it before on the channel as well, but I just don't seem to do it. I just found five pounds in my pocket. <laughs> Doing something like this oh, massively helps me because I'm not a morning person at, at all. I mean, if I, I work early hours and late hours with my job right now, um, and the early hours for me personally are, are tough because I'm just not used to it. I've had so long of not having that routine. It takes so long to kind of break it. Um, and so me actually getting up, getting dressed, doing something with my day on my day off um, just makes me feel a lot better and makes me feel a lot more productive. So let me know. Do you guys do anything similar? Do you have like the whole make your bed thing? Like I've done that too. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're going everywhere, man. Last like, ah, last like three, <laughs> last like three or four cans that I've opened on camera have gone everywhere. Like this, this is all over my camera, all over my TV. Look, look, all over the PlayStation. It's not good. It's not good. I, I used to think it was 3D specific, but it's happened with monsters too. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Did I give up? Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up. Just gave up. Did I sleep away the day? Cause I was tired. Or did I get tired? Cause I slept too much. Slept too much. Whoa. Right. Next. Shush. Next. Task of the day. Head down to the post office. Um, as you guys just saw, got a couple of bits to return. Um, if you remember those Gymshark Black Friday th things, bits that I bought um, before Christmas when we were in Paris. They came after Christmas. Oh, no. The anyway, I'm sending them back. And also a Rode mic. Long story short, we got sent two, and I only need one. And the other one um, sounds like this. Testing, testing. One, two... One, two. So yeah, those are going. 
And um, that's it really. On with the day. Woo! Hiya. Um, just got a couple of bits to return, if that's all right. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? That was easier than expected. Next up, trip to Sainsbury's because we need shush. We need some dinner. <laughs> Okay, so my training hasn't really been on point, kind of, in 2019. Um, and I feel like that's been a little bit hypocritical, almost, purely because um, I always preach kind of consistency, consistent training, consistency with the channel, and just well, just consistency in, in general, right? And if you follow me, then you know that that's kind of what I say, how I like to go about what I do. Um, but bear with me, I, I have a legitimate excuse, you know, my, my mouth blew up again, it was really tender, it, was, it caused agony if I even like picked a weight up off the floor and that was kind of in and around Christmas and into New Year as well, kind of came back, kind of went, kind of came back and now thankfully it has actually gone, well I've heard, touch wood and all that, you know. Um, and so I am looking forward to getting back on track with the training, getting back on track, just being consistent because I enjoy the element of consistency, hence the name Serious Consistency, hence the what I do with this channel overall. It's very kind of black and white, consistent uploads, everything, right? And so when that gets taken away, my whole kind of routine gets thrown out of whack. And you guys know I have very little routine as it is. And so when that goes as well, it... it, it Kind of, kind of plays on my mind. It, it, it messes with me a little bit, you know. And so, now this has kind of died down a little bit. I'm looking forward to actually getting back to it and showing you guys the road to the 100 kg OHP. Made a brand new hashtag, by the way. Do you like my little hashtag symbol there? Yeah. Hashtag road to 100 kg OHP, or just. 100 kg OHP, whichever you think's better, let me know in the comments. I didn't mention it, I wasn't going to mention it, but I haven't been to the gym properly. I mean, it's January 6th right now. Um, and to be honest, I've been to the gym twice in January, twice. And they were kind of basic, introductory, get back into it kind of sessions. Um, so I had a little bit of time off over Christmas anyway, and my mouth was playing up, and then that kind of just ended up in me, with me not training for quite a while. And so, as a result of that, the next thing that I'm gonna update you on, my weight. I have put on, again, another five pounds, right? I say another five pounds, I just put on five pounds. Um, which happens over the Christmas period, right? I haven't really been doing cardio, I've not been giving a flying f about what I'm eating. I've just been doing what I want, when I want, and not really training, hence, the turbos come back again, you know? There's still jawline there, but it's not great, is it, you know? Yes, there is the argument of like, oh, it's just water weight, and yes, there is the argument of like my jaw, and so I wasn't training, but none of that, that's all going out the window. We're not having any excuses. We are getting that back on track. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna get that back on track, and I'm gonna show you guys myself actually freaking doing it. Hold me accountable for this shit, okay? And next up, work. I'm trying to find like a, a balance between well, everything really, to be completely honest. I'm working mad hours, I'm on another eight days straight with no rest in between. I, I mean, today I had a half day, so that was not too bad, but it's still consistent kind of days where I don't have time to myself, time to make videos and stuff like that. And so trying to find a balance is, is quite difficult. Like today, right now in fact, it's actually sort of, it's 20 past four, 20, you can't see that, it's 25 past four, um, and people are actually, people like myself, other fitness, people that do a similar thing to me are in London having a meet up, they're at Nando's, they're all training in the gym together, they're just networking, right? Um, and so I couldn't go to that because I had work today, but that's just the way it is. But that's exactly what I mean by trying to find the balance, you know, it, it, it's very difficult for me to kind of balance this, the simple, <laughs> plain and simple amount of hours that I have to put in for, for my job 
the, and the uh, also absurd amount of hours that, that YouTube takes, and then finding the time to to do stuff on top of that, um, is quite difficult. And so it's something I'm looking to kind of grasp, get the hang of. Um, every every time I kind of think I'm getting the hang of it, something changes. But that's just life, you know. That's how it is. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's just how it goes. And so I'm looking forward to kind of sharing with you how I'm, I'm gonna figure out what the freaking hell I'm doing, right? YouTube is very hard to keep up with, just in general, right? It's why lots of people drop off. You don't get instant success, and so people just kind of fade off. Um, people ask me why I upload so much, even though, because I, I complain I complain about the amount of work a lot, right, okay? So people are like, oh, why don't you just not upload on YouTube? And I'm like, no, because that's, that's just what I do. Like, I do my Wednesday and I do my Sunday, that's just, what I do, it's like a part of me now, and, and the people that kind of ask me those questions don't really understand the, the, the message, they don't really understand the principle of this, the, what is happening with this, and the potential of this. 2019 can be a freaking massive year for us on YouTube, guys. It can be massive. We can do so much, we can see so much progress, and it could be freaking amazing. But, not everybody can see that. Not everybody sees the ridiculous community that we have, like the people getting to know each other in the comments, people helping each other in the comments, people sharing experiences, favourite moments, all that kind of stuff in the comments. We have our own little freaking LSJ team, LSJ army in the comments, and you know exactly who you are. You're watching this thinking, is he talking about me? Yes, you. I'm talking about you. Drop a comment down below, get a conversation started, get to know somebody in the comment section. Let's have a proper LSJ family. That is what I want to create in 2019. We have loads of people all over the world. I'm not, too many places to name. We see them in the comments. I want to see you guys in there as well. I cannot believe how worldwide this is. It, it, it blows my mind on a, on a daily basis, right? I think, God, that person has just commented from the complete other side of the world. Like, this is, this is, this is massive, you know? But people don't see that. People don't always see that. And so, in 2019, let's show them exactly what I mean by that. Let's show them exactly how much of a team we are. Let's show them exactly how far we can go with this. I say we because I made the videos, but I, I'd be nowhere without you guys. So that is it, everybody. Rounding off today's video with a little bit of an update. Where we want to go, how we're going to get there. And how amazing 2019 is going to be. Let's make it a freaking good one, guys. Together, we will grow. I want to finish off today's video with a little bit of a quote, okay? I've got it written down here. Bear with me. You can't blend in when you were born to stand out. Hmm. It's a good one. I know, right? I'm, I'm not even going to say anything else. I'll leave that one with you. Together, we will grow. I will see you in the next one.